Hi everyone, welcome to Stefan Eats, and in this video, we are going to explore the most unique pizzas in Vancouver. From Korean style pizza, I think there's beef bulgogi on here. To literally a whole seafood platter on a piece of dough. Oh, okay, let's, let's go, the reveal. Oh, 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 look at that, yes. Look at these absolute cheesy lobster beauties. These pizzas are worth talking about and uh, I am going to bring you along for the ride. I'm doing this video from my room because my original cool intro had no sound. Anyways, enough of me blabbering, blabbering, blabbing? Enough of me rambling on inside my own room. Let's get to the pizza, shall we? Yeah, gastronomy. Apparently, uh, their pizza won an award, and uh, it's kind of a cool spot uh, right in Gastown. While we did get a couple pizzas, there's one item that just caught our eye, and uh, it is a calzone full of baked oysters. Okay, so look at this. This is kind of cool. Uh, so, it uh, looks like a normal calzone, but you have to open this up. This is a whole bunch of oysters, uh, cracked black pepper, of course, that he just put on. Some induya butter, which is uh, kind of southern Italian smoked sausage uh, that is super fatty. And then, of course, the uh, tomato sauce. Let's try the oyster by itself, and then we'll try the bite. Oh, look at that. Oh, you love it. A nice little morsel of goodness, and of course, you can taste the smokiness from the Induya. And then what I'm gonna do is put this guy in here. Oh yeah, mm, super fluffy, creamy oyster inside. Uh, and then there's definitely a sweetness coming through. I'm not sure if it's coming from the tomato sauce or something else. What I love too is just the roasty kind of char marks from that dough. And then those oysters, just a delicious, more so of seafoody flavor overall. That's pretty damn good. All right, two pizzas have shown up and uh, they look pretty cool. So uh, we got the most unique pizzas uh, we could see on the menu. This first one is really funky and really cool. This is a carbonara pizza, of course. Uh, carbonara, you're gonna have your uh, egg yolk, your pancetta, uh, of course some cracked black pepper and a whole bunch of cheese. Uh, it comes with a cream sauce, what I love. Look at the super bubbly, almost like literally on the verge of being burnt crust. And then look at that amazing cream sauce on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, just full of cheesy heaven. Look at all that shaved Parmesan on there too. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's give it a shot. Mm, wow, okay. That is literally like the essence of carbonara, that sauce. It's so fragrant, you get all that ham flavor in there. The uh, pancetta, or sorry, it's not pancetta, it's guanciale normally. Just super smoky, amazingly creamy. You can taste the egg yolk. The crust is thin, but at the same time, it's almost kind of perfect for that sauce. Okay, let's take a bite into this kind of burnt bubbliness. Oh man, mm, that dark char flavor also plays perfectly with that creaminess. In this case, the crust is almost a highlight uh, as well. It's not even an afterthought. It's part of the pizza. The crust is just really good on this one. Okay, let's go for uh, this one over here. Now we got this one because it actually uh, was part of an award ceremony. On the menu it says Pizza Challenge Winner 2023. Not sure what competition it was in, uh, but it did win something. Uh, so we thought it was worth a shot. And uh, this one's pretty cool too. There's some induya on uh, top. So of course the induya being that smoked sausage. Uh, we have some goat's cheese and some squash. And I think there's even some squash ribbons on there. This one looks much lighter. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. It's almost like you're going through like the four seasons of flavor. You start off with the sweetness, then you get the kind of goaty, salty creaminess from the goat's cheese. And then as soon as you think that flavor is gone, you get a pepperiness and a spiciness at the end. I'm gonna take a bite of this squash side over here. Super vibrant, very fresh. And once again, 
the dough is very well done. You're looking for that leopardization on the bottom and uh, you are definitely getting it here. They're both really good, but I think I might, I might actually choose the carbonara on this one. Sing Sing, our next spot. And this spot is very, very popular, uh, especially at night. Uh, it's very hard to get in here. The pizza coming up is fairly unique, but we thought we'd start off with a couple of uh, appetizers. Actually, this might be our uh, camera person's least favorite vlog because uh, he is lactose intolerant. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Better take those pills right now. <laughs> so to help with his lactose intolerance, uh, we've gotten a couple of non-dairy appetizers. First one here, chili wings. Very simple, but we are simpletons on this channel and a good wing is something you could not ignore. I'm gonna dip it right into the sauce first. I think it's like sriracha aioli or something. Oh yeah. Oh wow. You know what? They don't look like much but lots of flavor. A bit of garlic in there. Chicken's really tender. That's a solid wing. Second happy and uh, this is tuna char char. Uh, we thought we'd uh, eat a little bit healthy you know uh, with some greenery in there. Maybe just the cilantro. Oh yeah, mm. so it's almost like a crispy mini sushi, like a sushi betanet. Betanet? That's not a word. What's kind of cool is the rice is, um, because they fried it, it's almost like creamy. Okay, here we go. Kimchi brisket pizza, let's go right into it. A whole bunch of scallions on there, some uh, brisket, a nice healthy drizzle of, I think, it might be some kimchi aioli. And of course, you can tell those giant bits of kimchi. And uh, I'm gonna grab this bite here. Oh, look at that, nice. Oh, oh, that giant bit of kimchi. Oh, I'm so happy I grabbed the right slice. Mm. Oh yeah, it's almost like a poison glaze on there. It almost tastes like those duck crepes you got at Cantonese restaurants. The kimchi, of course, balances that out with its almost spicy, funky acidity. They've actually given you quite a bit of brisket in there, so you get a nice meaty bite. The crust is fairly thin. Crust could maybe use a little bit more char, but overall, definitely worth checking out. And while you're here, honestly, grab some of these wings because those wings are really, really good. I can see why this place is really popular. I've heard, I've heard they've had really good drinks. Happy we came here very early to try this out and uh, we didn't have to light up, so that's a win for us. So you want to see some more epic pizzas on this video? Crust me, I got you. Next joint, Rewind Pizza. We have to come all the way out to Port Moody for this gem, but it looks uh, worth it already. Inside this uh, brewery, you will find a uh, kind of specialized Detroit style pizza joints. They are called High Top Pizza, and uh, they had one unique pie that looked pretty cool, and here it is. This is a pierogi Detroit style pizza. I think it's just a whole bunch of potatoes, uh, sour cream, bacon, and uh, of course, what uh, distinguishes Detroit pizzas from others is the crispy cheese crust. Uh, for the price, it's not bad. It is a little, it is a bit smaller than other Detroit styles I've seen, but for, I think it's like $20, it's pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, look at the thickness. Oh, oh, there's so much cheese. Oh, yes, I did not expect the extra cheese on top of that sour cream. Oh yeah, perfect. This is just straight up thick, and uh, this is also what people call me now. Mm. Oh bad. <laughs> mm. I didn't really expect the pierogi flavor profile to really come through, but as soon as you take a bite, you get all the elements. It really does taste like a pierogi get that potato and then of course that kind of sour cream with the herbs uh, mixed in and then of course a whole bunch of that spring onion this is super cheesy super creamy I actually wasn't expecting to be like super in love with this one uh, because for me pierogies on a pizza sounds like just carbs on carbs on carbs but Overall, they've done a masterful job at this. It tastes exactly like a pierogi with all the fixings and lots of flavor. This has exceeded my expectations 100%. Moving on. Okay, next spot, and uh, this spot 
might be low-key one of my favorite pizza places in the whole Vancouver region. Yes, I have tried this pizza place before and I wanted to share it with you guys. It has been making the rounds on social media too, so I don't think it's really a hidden gem anymore. Wild Flower Pizza in Burnaby, kind of in the depths of, uh, uh, I guess an industrial zone. Their pizzas use sourdough crust. First of all, this might be my favorite Hawaiian pizza in the whole city, maybe in the world. Uh, now, I haven't had that much pineapple pizza in my life, but uh, trust me, this one is just absolutely stunning. And then we got another one called the Hot Mama because we are feeling spicy today. And uh, there's a whole bunch of meat, some pepperoncinis in there. Oh, oh, even more chilies. Look at just those big bunches of chilies there too. We did get two dips, uh, looks really good. The first one is this. Uh, I think it's like a truffle dip. And then the second one here, uh, this one is, look at that, just literally full of hot honey. My OnlyFans name is also Hot Honey. Uh, so look that up. Actually don't because I, I'm, I'm not on OnlyFans. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, just look up Hot Honey and whoever has that username, well, hopefully they make more money because of me. I redirected you there. Hot Honey, you are welcome. Let's go right into this one here. This is our classic Hawaiian slice. And Hawaiian controversial for some people, honestly, I freaking love Hawaiian pizza. Yes, I am a quarter Italian and I said I love Hawaiian pizza. Nona's around the world, come at me, bro. I'll have a rolling pin ready just in case. I think there's even some hot honey on this one as well. What's really cool too is you have some exo uh, pork, which is also just adding a whole bunch of umami. Oh man, mm. just give me a moment to enjoy this. Mm. It's just so well balanced. Ooh, it's actually surprisingly spicy as well. Oh, that exo pork. It's like salty, a little bit sweet. And then of course, the extra crispiness and fatty juiciness from those extra pepperonis on there. Mm. Oh man, as soon as you bite into that pineapple, it's got the perfect balance. Let's just dip it into this truffle stuff here. If you're gonna get one dip, the truffle, 100% get that one. That is just insanity. Oh, mama, let's go. I think there's a bunch of capicola on there. Some extra, this is gonna be spicy. Look at all the chili peppers they put on there. And then of course the pepperoncinos. Oh yeah. Okay, let's take a bite by itself. Oh yeah. Mm. Those pepperoncinos are beautiful because they just add acidity, a pickliness to it, which brightens it up because you do get quite a bit of crispy, greasy meat on there. You think it's gonna be really spicy, but honestly, it's mostly just packed with flavor and it helps also that those capicolos are super crispy. But I think this guy's a perfect candidate for the hot honey. Since it's extra salty, uh, you do want a little bit of that sweetness on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, man. Mm, pure pork gasm, it's so good. You know, it's very thin crust, and then the ingredients seem like they won't be that much, but it's just a perfect balance of dough and condiments, and on top of that, the dough is just very crispy, but then the edges are just very fluffy and flavorful as well. My only complaint about this spot is like, where, where are they? <laughs> it's kind of out of the way. Uh, they need to open a spot closer to my house. If you're the owner, uh, just open something along Commercial Drive. Uh, then I can walk over and grab this almost every day. Pizza Maru, it's a Korean chain and uh, they have over 600 locations now around the world, but uh, Vancouver and Toronto seem to be their first locations in Canada. Now for people who have been to South Korea, you know that they are serious about pizza and they have some pretty funky ingredients on there. We ordered one pizza and this is called the Shrimp Bull. So we thought we'd have the best of both worlds. There is a pork, I think there's beef bulgogi on here, a whole bunch of shrimp, some potatoes, uh, some kind of ranch sauce. And of course, uh, they give you Tabasco on the side here. Uh, so yeah, we got the large because why not? It, it looks great. A uh, whole bunch of cheese. And I'm gonna get this guy from this side. Oh, look at that. I love the giant chunks of potato as well. Oh, what's really cool too is all the toppings are, you know, there are a lot of toppings on here, but the crust is still keeping its shape. That bulgogi is really good. Sweet umaminess coming from the bulgogi. Of course, the cheese on there. Let's try it with the shrimp on there now. 
Oh, oh. There you go. Oh no. It seems like kind of like a crazy out there combination, but overall it really works. The shrimp is very snappy, perfectly cooked. And then that bulgogi, it's perfectly sweet, very nicely seasoned, very nicely balanced. There's a bit of ranch sauce in there, whole bunch of cheese. The crust, surprisingly, holds up to all the flavors, all the sauces. Might even finish this by myself without the help of this cameraman here. Yeah, no, you're not getting any. <laughs> Sorry. Even this shrimp. See this shrimp? It's going further away from you. Really generous. They gave us uh, some kind of puffs. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it's green tea joe. And then I think it's like chicken powder. I could be completely wrong. It smells sweet though, so I think it's more of a dessert. It almost reminds me of like a beignet, like the kind of New Orleans style beignet that you get. Mm. Oh, that's so interesting. It's a very confusing kind of dish. It's almost like a green tea flavor in the beignet. Now on the outside, you have this kind of salty, addictive coating. I don't know how to really describe it. I was so focused on trying to figure out what the flavor was that I almost forgot how light and airy these are. Overall, I like it. I think it's pretty damn good. Is this three pizzas? Mm-mm. It is one single pizza and also it might be the, actually it is. It is literally the most expensive pizza I've ever paid for. Also, the seagulls are loving this, so we might have to change locations, but uh, we'll see. Big guy just chased another smaller seagull away, so he has prime position for what I'm about to show you. Oh, okay, <laughs> this. Let's go, the reveal. Oh, oh, oh. look at that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow. This is called the Serpent. This is a $120 pizza. This is absolutely loaded with smoked salmon, a whole bunch of lobster, some shrimps, and then I think there's some more seafood on the other side. But look at these absolute cheesy lobster beauties. Almost like the sales from Canada Place. Oh God. <laughs> this might be a terrible idea. No, bad. Bad seagull. How am I going to attack this? No idea, uh, but I think I'm just gonna try to grab a slice with, Jesus Christ, how do you even grab a slice? I don't know, okay, let's just. Let's, have one at Yeah, I think I'm gonna have the lobster first, so let's just open this lobster up. Oh, look at that, yes. Oh, all right, I'm gonna try to take this whole guy out. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> let's start with just, the insane amount of lobster, I'm gonna put that on a slice here. And here you go. Oh, oh no, some of the sauce came off. Okay, so a whole bunch of lobster and then some shrimpy poos on there and let's just take a big bite. That lobster is great. Mm, just super sweet, very meaty. Honestly, the pizza has minimal sauce. A little bit of cheese, and I think that's kind of what you want because you're really doing this for the seafood. Pizza does a good job of not overpowering the seafood. Shrimp, snappy, mm, sweet once again. I'm gonna have to get a bit of this uh, smoked salmon on here. Oh, what's on the bottom here? What is that? Oh, that's like potato. Okay, let's take a bit of potato and put it on here. There you go. It's really hard to find a fault with this one. It's literally just a bunch of amazing, delicious seafood. Mm, that smoked salmon, super creamy. The sweetness of the lobster, that kind of potato, whatever it is on the bottom, is really nice actually. It's a little gimmicky, yes, but when you're doing food like this, at least the finished product should be delicious. And is it delicious? Heck yeah. For $120? Honestly, it's quite a bit, but with the amount of lobster they give you, like this is, you're literally getting probably, you're getting five whole lobster tails, all the, all the shrimp, all the other seafood on there. For $120 in Vancouver to get all this seafood, pretty good, <laughs> to be honest. The pizza itself, the crust, the, the tomato sauce, not like the most amazing I've ever had, but it's literally all about the seafood that's on top. And it's just juicy, really well cooked full of cheese and honestly yeah they've done a great job with the seafood and to kind of make this as part of a pizza and not overcook the seafood is a feat in itself
last spot is actually a takeout place and uh, this is I guess sushi pizza has been a trend for a little while but normally you will see it at kind of Japanese or sushi restaurants but there is finally a spot in Vancouver that literally just specializes in sushi pizza I got a deal, I think it's called the Three Musketeers. You can get three sushi pizzas for, I guess it's about 38 bucks. This one is called the Aborified. Whole bunch of smoked salmon. And then on top, they have their special kozu sauce and then they've torched it, uh, kind of obori style. Mmm. Mm hmm. You taste the kind of fire. Uh, that sauce is very tart. Almost tastes like a caper lemon sauce that goes really well with the salmon the smoked salmon itself since it's been torched a little bit is kind of bordering on cooked but also still retains that smoked salmon flavor and then that crispy um, rice on the bottom it does break apart in your hands a little bit though uh, mm, so it's not the mm, oh man with the rice crust eventually everything just collapses in your hand so it kind of stops being a pizza eventually and just becomes a giant rice Ball. Next one is called, I think this is the San Francisco? The words San Francisco and Tokyo together uh, to make an abomination of a word that's kind of hard to say. I remember the imitation crab. Other than that, I forgot what else is on here. Uh, there looks to be some, I think there's some mayo on there. And then of course your crispy rice bottom. Oh yeah, literally just like a California roll on a sushi pizza. Lots of imitation crab on there. You can tell it's mixed with the mayo. Overall, pretty good, but man, for now, I think the best one is definitely that aburi-fied pizza that's right in front of me here. So this is the Charmander. This will have a whole bunch of, looks like salmon sashimi on top, a little bit of jalapeno, some cucumber, and I think there might be like a spicy sauce on there. Charmander, I love you, but my favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur. That's right, fight me. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments. What is your favorite Pokemon? Mine is definitely Bulbasaur and then hmm, maybe Snorlax. Cause uh, kind of resembles me. Oh yeah, mm. got the little small bite of heat there with the jalapeno. Nice creamy texture of the salmon. And then of course uh, that crispy rice on the bottom. Salmon sashimi. Mm, maybe one of my favorite things in the world. In terms of my faves, I think Aborified number one, Charmander number two, then San Francisco Tokyo or whatever this is called. This will be number three. That will be it for our unique pizza adventure in Vancouver. This might be the last Pizza Diaries video I make in Vancouver because honestly, we've tried quite a lot of pizza. So maybe I'll put this one to bed. Like always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so we can notify you future videos. And of course, hit us up with those comments. What is your favorite pizza in Vancouver? Overall, let me know. Anyways, we'll see you very soon. Ciao for now. I'm gonna take this guy too. He's coming with me. Bye.